Welcome to my holistic kitchen where ancient ayurvedic wisdom meets modern holistic nutrition. This is your host Preeti bringing to you a wealth of knowledge in the field of ayurveda and holistic nutrition. Menopause happens to every woman at some point in her lifespan. It's not an illness or a disease, it's just another phase in a woman's life. But not everyone's experience is the same during this phase. Some people breeze through it without any issues or discomfort. Yet others complain about its crazy making symptoms. You see, you can't cure menopause. It's not an illness after all. But you sure can cope with it and even empower yourself to be healthier, wiser and stronger. If you get the balance right and embrace these changes, then you can celebrate this new chapter in your life and even ignite greater health and happiness than ever before. So let's start learning about menopause. Why does menopause happen? Well, Women go through a lot of different stages in their lives from early childhood to puberty to adulthood to getting pregnant and then lactating and then further to menopause and post menopause leading to your senior years in your life. You see all women are born with all of their eggs which are stored in their ovaries. Ovaries also make the hormones estrogen and progesterone which control their menstruation and the release of eggs called ovulation. Menopause happens when the ovaries no longer release an egg every month and menstruation stops. This is the final stage in a woman's reproductive life cycle and it is something most women dread because of the frightful symptoms that start to show up as menopause approaches. What's the normal age for menopause? Well, menopause is actually defined as a complete year without menstrual bleeding. Most women will experience menopause at the same time as their mothers went through it if we keep the environmental factors aside. The average age of menopause in the United States is approximately 51 years. However, the transition to menopause usually begins in your mid 40s. Some women can go through menopause early. It can be the result of surgery like if their ovaries are removed in a hysterectomy or damage to their ovaries such as from chemotherapy. If this happens before the age of 40 for any reason, it's called premature menopause. Natural menopause isn't caused by any type of medical or surgical intervention. It's a slow process and has three stages. The first one is perimenopause. This phase usually begins several years before menopause. And this is when your ovaries begin to slow down and make less estrogen and progesterone. This is when you experience most of your perimenopausal symptoms like hot flashes and mood swings and sleepless nights, weight gain. Then comes menopause. Menopause is not a phase, it's the point at which a woman has not had a period for 12 consecutive months. Your ovaries have stopped releasing eggs and making most of their sex hormones. Then you enter postmenopause. These are the years after menopause. Menopausal symptoms usually begin to ease, but health risks related to the loss of estrogen increase as you get older. Let's look at each stage in detail. Perimenopausal period is a transitioning time that can start as early as late 30s. This is when the body could start having changes in hormone levels that cause secondary changes in the body. The signs of perimenopause may start as slightly irregular periods with extra moodiness around that time and fatigue. During perimenopause, a woman's ovaries 
start to produce less estrogen and lesser progesterone. Changes in these hormones cause the symptoms of perimenopause. Over time, your periods will occur less often and eventually stop. Although this typically is a gradual process that happens over time, in some cases a woman's periods could stop suddenly. Throughout perimenopause, ovulation, which is the release of eggs from the ovaries, also occur less and less frequently. At this point, a woman may still be able to become pregnant, but it will be much harder and as the point of menopause gets closer, it will become even harder to conceive. At the end of perimenopause, the vaginal tissue and the pelvic muscle structure simply aren't strong enough anymore to support a pregnancy. However, perimenopause can begin several years earlier when levels of estrogen and progesterone first begin to fluctuate. But surgical or medical menopause is the term for a decrease in estrogen that is a result of surgery to remove ovaries or uterus or medical treatments such as chemotherapy or hormone therapy to treat breast or uterine cancer. Most common symptom during this perimenopausal phase is hot flashes. During hot flashes, there is a sudden feeling of warmth that spreads over the upper part of your body, often with blushing or racing heart and sweating. These flashes can range from mild in most women to severe in others. You may also notice other symptoms like you may start missing your periods or they may become irregular. You may experience vaginal dryness, sore breasts, needing to pee more often, trouble sleeping, emotional changes, dry skin, dry eyes or dry mouth. And other possible symptoms often include fatigue, depression, crankiness, headaches, joint and muscle aches and pains, weight gain, hair loss and changes in your libido. Then comes the actual menopause. Most women will experience menopause about the same time as their mothers went through it. Unlike perimenopause and postmenopause, menopause is not a stage or a phase. It's a point marked by that magic 12 month number. You see, menopause is the point at which a woman has not had a period for 12 consecutive months. The time after menopause is called postmenopause, which is a phase that lasts for the rest of a woman's life. Symptoms of menopause may start years before you hit the actual menopause. But it's a common misunderstanding as most women call themselves in menopause once the symptoms start even though they may still be experiencing irregular menstruation in general women experience menopause usually between the ages of 45 and 55 the average age of menopause is 51 but it can occur earlier in some women as well if it occurs before the age of 40 it is considered to be an early menopause while this can be a natural process, but it is more likely to be medically triggered by chemotherapy damage to ovaries or a complete hysterectomy. So how will you know that you have reached menopause? Well, you'll know you've reached menopause when you've gone 12 consecutive months without a menstrual period. Contact your healthcare provider if you have any type of vaginal bleeding after those 12 months. Vaginal bleeding after menopause could be a sign of a more serious health issue. Now let's talk about postmenopause. Most of the symptoms that women go through during the perimenopausal phase will eventually drop off within a couple of years. Women will have some changes after menopause, especially in the vaginal area, which can become dry and delicate. Even the muscles in the vaginal area will also start to atrophy, which is why pelvic exercises become more important at this time. 
and the loss of muscle tissue in the pelvic region may also lead to incontinence which means urgency to pee and at times leakage may also occur. There is also a decrease in skin elasticity all over the body from the loss of estrogen which causes wrinkling. Although post menopause women will no longer experience hot flashes and their mood will also stabilize but once a woman goes through menopause she is at a much higher risk for other diseases like heart disease and osteoporosis and this is because estrogen is linked to keeping your bones strong and your arteries flexible your blood flow can be impeded as your arteries harden not to worry there are a variety of alternate therapies to handle the side effects of menopause but as the symptoms vary between women this is usually something that must be discussed with your healthcare provider how do healthcare providers diagnose menopause well women typically notice the signs of menopause without a formal diagnosis from their healthcare provider a change in menstrual pattern and the appearance of hot flashes are usually the first signs so even before going to the doctor if you suspect that you are going into menopause you can start keeping a track of your periods and chart them as they become irregular the pattern will give a clue to your doctor that you could be in perimenopause although blood tests are not required Healthcare providers can run blood or urine tests to determine the level of hormones estradiol, follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone. You see at menopause or nearing menopause, your ovaries become less responsive to follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormones. So the body makes more of these hormones to compensate. Estradiol and other sex hormones decrease around menopausal years. At the same time, you can also get your thyroid hormone checked because an underactive thyroid can cause symptoms similar to those of menopause. So test for thyroid stimulating hormone. If the levels are high, it means your thyroid is underactive. A healthcare provider can use these test results to tell if a woman is in menopause. During and after menopause a woman should get a complete physical exam to monitor her health on a regular basis. To learn more on the topic of menopause, I invite you to take advantage of our self-paced online courses. Please do visit our website myholistickitchen.com for more details. You could either take short courses on different topics related to menopause such as the science behind menopausal symptoms foods for balancing hormones and lifestyle solutions for an easy menopause or you could take all of these three courses together as one course the complete guide to menopause please do connect with us via our website myholistickitchen.com to get a discount coupon of up to 75% off on any of our courses we also offer one on one consultations via zoom looking forward to helping you in your journey towards better health namaste